Hello class. Hold on, man. Hello class. Today we're going to be talking about metabolism, which is a very important concept for pharmacology. Pharmacology counts uh, metabolism also as biotransformation because it converts carbon compounds into other carbon organic compounds. Usually this occurs in the liver. The cytochrome P450 system is responsible for metabolism of drugs. There are 12 enzyme families. There are six categories of therapeutic benefits for drug metabolism. The first and most important is renal excretion. Drug metabolism often converts lipid soluble compounds into water soluble compounds. This influences the excretion of drug compounds from the body. As well, the liver allows for drug inactivation and I will have my assistants, my lovely assistants, draw the diagram on the board for you if you would like to take care of the first half of that. Absolutely. Put that oxygen compound in there. Yes. Well, as you can see, the uh, procaine becomes inactivated into an inert compound called PABA. Thank you, ladies. You're very welcome. As well, uh, metabolism can also influence uh, therapeutic actions of drugs. <clears throat> so, as an example, sometimes drugs such as codeine could be converted into morphine in the liver and increases the effects. As well, the activation of prodrugs is another benefit of metabolism. Prodrugs are chemically inert when, when administered and become active after metabolism as well. The liver assists with metabolism, excuse me, <laughs> increasing toxicity or decreasing toxicity of a drug. Some special considerations to consider that didn't come out right. <laughs> Factors to consider. One must consider an age of a patient. Nice tie. This is a very nice tie. Thank you, ladies. I like my nurses in nice ties. Yeah. The age of a patient may influence drug metabolism since it occurs in the liver. Liver function is depressed in elderly and neonatal patients. As well, there's another consideration, induction. Some drugs cause liver to increase metabolism enzymes, which means you have faster drug metabolism. As well, the first pass effect this is a very important effect that occurs in the liver. Sometimes drugs that are given orally are completely inactivated by the liver. This means that one should consider parenteral routes for medication administration. One must also consider the nutritional status of our patients because cofactors necessary for metabolism are sometimes not present. Competition in drug metabolism is the last factor to consider. Some drugs are metabolized by the P450 system in the same pathway, so this may mean that one drug leaves the body faster than other drugs. This concludes the presentation on metabolism. I hope you all have learned much. In summary, metabolism is crucial for drug therapy. You see, without it, some drugs would never leave. And this can lead to toxicity. Not for me, no, not hepatomegaly. <laughs>